Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about some really touchy subjects, not the greatest subjects in the world, but we're talking about erectile dysfunction, problems with either frequent urination or difficulty urinating, and also swollen prostate. Now the good news is, is that there appears to be something that can significantly help you naturally with no negative side effects, and that's actually molecular hydrogen. Now, I actually, the reason I decided to make this video is because I actually know some people personally, quite a few who have actually come back to me and said, you know the one thing that I noticed that it has improved above all things is my problems with my frequent urination. In fact, one of the women uh, came to me and told me that she used to wake up five times a night to go to the bathroom. And after using the Lourdes hydrogen generator and drinking that type of hydrogen water, she now gets up zero times at night. It was pretty incredible. She's really happy about it because now she can get a decent night's rest. Then there was also a story about a gentleman. It was actually the same thing. He used to get up about three times a night, he said, and now he gets up zero also. So he doesn't have that problem anymore. And he's also had some improvements in his love life. I won't go into all the details. All I will say is that in Japan, they actually have shown that it is effective um, with people who, with erectile dysfunction. But the important part that I think people need to know is what type of hydrogen to use and how much of it to use. Just like anything that's therapeutic, you need to know your doses. Uh, so the first actual data from Japan shows that it needs to be above 1.0 ppm. So there's certain machines that make like 0 0.3, 0 0.2, even 0 0.1. Not going to be that effective. You want 1.0, 1.2, maybe 1.5. Now if you get into two crazy high levels, because see some people make really crazy high levels of hydrogen using a chemical reaction like these hydrogen pills and these hydrogen sticks truth is stay away from those they're actually have shown in japan in the long-term studies that they're actually not very good for you so you don't want a chemical reaction like that in order to be making your hydrogen and you don't need those crazy levels if you end up having too much the data shows that you will actually just breathe out the excess hydrogen. Your body can only utilize so much of it and that magic number appears to be 1.0 ppm. So right in that area. Now the important part is also to know that, okay, so you wanna avoid the chemical reaction water but you also wanna avoid the electrolyzed water. You don't want electrolyzed hydrogen water. The reason you don't want it is because again, what the data shows. It shows that this really high alkaline water will actually cause issues with your digestive system. The reason it does that is because your digestive tract actually needs to be acidic in order to break down food and kill bacteria and not let it pass into your digestive system. So you really don't want electrolyzed water and it's difficult to find hydrogen water that either hasn't been electrolyzed or is not happening due to some chemical reaction. And this is why the Lourdes hydrogen generator is so unusual and very effective and very safe because it's actually one of the only types of hydrogen you can use for like pregnant women children, elderly, it's safe for everybody and that's what's actually really interesting about it. And it is a patented system. I mean, when you put the water that ends up becoming hydrogen water in the pitcher, it doesn't ever get electrolyzed. And the pH of it stays either neutral or just a little bit alkaline, which is exactly what you want. You don't want this crazy alkaline water. So also, now you wanna know the amounts that you need to take in order to get the benefits, of course. So the amount is you wanna drink about two liters of this water throughout the day. You don't want to down two liters all at one time, but you can down half of it or maybe three quarters of it, which is what I do, and then I'll drink more throughout the day. Um, the data again shows that every four hours is the most effective. So if four hours have passed and I haven't had a gulp of water, I'll grab a small glass and I'll just, you know, chug some water and just make sure to try to keep it in my system throughout the day in order to get the absolute most benefit from it. So I hope this information helped all of you. I hope that. Many of you will have improvements in your health in the future in regards to erectile dysfunction, your problems with frequent urination, or any other problems that you may have. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up or a like if you enjoyed it and you want me to bring more information to you. And don't forget to subscribe also if you like the information that I'm bringing to you. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video.